Hi Darren, so your Graflex is all finished, it's all in there. Um, you'll get, I've uh, also printed off uh, instructions for how to get it going and everything. Bluetooth instructions, obviously you've got the Bluetooth module in there, so that'll take you through the whole thing. Uh, and also there's a complete list of all the sound fonts and everything that are on it, the, the various blade colors, uh, the different the different effects programmed onto each one so you can sort of navigate your way around it pretty easily. Um, I'll send all that with it. Um, there'll also be a magazine but I've run out of them so that'll have to follow on so I'll send that separately. Um, but the hilt will be on its way to you uh, very very soon. So um, yeah, a few things you need to know about it so um, let's, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, in the kit with the hilt you get uh, the grips for a new hope. I mean it won't be much use to you because you've got the other ones already stuck on there. Um, the bubble strip, you've got a sim uh, for, again for a new hope, you've got the simple D-ring, um, you've got a second button uh, in case you wanted to go Empire Strikes Back, so um, it all comes with the hilt kit, so um, so that's all in there. So for the hilt itself, obviously we've gone, we wanted to go uh, a new hope, we've got the riveted strips, we've got the slightly more sophisticated cobalt D-ring on the end, uh, uh, and the PCB strip, and I've also, on this, on the uh, glass eye it comes as with a knurled one but obviously in the film it's actually turned down uh, so I got this on the lathe and turned the, the knurling off to make it as, as screen accurate as possible so um, so yeah so to get it going so the first thing you'll notice is I should take the grip off I put this little sleeve over it the idea is it's only to protect it really in transit but also on the inside if you take the, um, the center section off you've got these little tangs inside which potentially could scratch the chassis so I tend to put that on just to protect the chassis when you're sliding that on when you're sliding the um, the clamp section on uh, yeah it's just a little bit of protection on there so to get it going let's take that off for now so there she is you've got your um, metal crystal chamber the center section is painted uh, and then the main section is metal again Take the kill, kill key out to get it going. It's a bit fiddly, but it does come out. Got a personalised boot sound on it. Uh, a few little accent blinkies and things in there. Uh, now there's two status lights on the side of the hilt. You've got the red one, which is like a hilt status indicator, uh, which blinks slowly when the blade is off, blinks faster when the blade is on. And then you've got the blue light, which is your Bluetooth indicator. So you've got your pulsing crystal in there as well. Uh, and yeah, you've got some more accent LEDs inside it. Um, so all the instructions are with it, but just to very briefly, two buttons on the front, main button, and that's your auxiliary button, which slides backwards. So a short let, quick, click and let go to fire it up. You can see the red starts blinking quicker. I'll come back to the Bluetooth in a second. Uh, and then the slide switch for accessing other effects. So blaster blocks, for example, uh, lock up, press and hold it. Obviously, the crystal follows those effects. And then it's a press and hold to switch it off. So, yeah, there's lots of features on there, but I won't bore you with them all now. But the um, uh, it's all you'll have a sheet that has all the details on there. So, you've also got inside here this sort of strobing arcing effect inside. Um, after a few seconds of running, there's a uh, it starts to glow red hot, all the machinery there starts to glow red hot. Uh, just a little realism touch that I put in there. Uh, so that when you shut it off, it takes a few seconds to, uh, to cool down. So yeah, little details become a bit of a trademark of mine. I quite like that effect. Um, now to get the Bluetooth going, what we need, you'll need uh, the Force Sync app. So, hang on in the middle, uh, which you can get from the App Store or Google Apps or whatever. Um, so open it up, it should search for the Sabre. There we go, Feezycom. And you can see the blue has now gone solid so it shows it's connected. And you want to scroll across to uh, Profi TS which is the circuit board inside your hilt. Hit that. And then remote control, and that gives you all the controls for the saber. So, uh, 
going to show you the whole thing. But. So on off, uh, clashes, blaster blocks, lock ups. So yeah, it's all there. So yeah, so that's the Bluetooth. So to get a blade in there, it's all, um, okay, let's close it up. Let's put the, uh, put the sleeve back on and the grip section. So blade, sort of self-explanatory really into there. You might have to just pinch the bunny ears together a little bit just to uh, put it in. Yeah, it's not that easy reaching around my phone to do this, but. And then, just nip up the uh, blade retention screw there. Doesn't need to be very tight. And then uh, short click to light it up. Got to, let's say, all your clicks, blasters, lock ups, clashes. So, yeah, that is a little hole away there. So, yeah, that is your Graflex, uh, Graflex lightsaber.